The cash flow is a time phased cost. And what do we mean by a time phased cost? Time phased cost means that you have a BOQ, for example, and you have so many items in the BOQ. And in the end of the BOQ, you have the total project value. So this value is the submission of all the items that you need to do in the project. But the thing is that this amount or this value will not be paid at once. It will be paid progress wise. So every month, what is the worth of works that you will execute in the first month? This amount will be paid in the first month. And what is the worth of works you execute? in the second month this amount will be paid in the second month and so on so the cash flow is how are you going to be paying the total amount of the BOQ or the total amount of the project this is what we mean by the cash flow and if we are meeting for the first time I am Ahmed Adel and you are watching cost engineering professional and here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career. So if this is what you want, this channel is just for you so you can quickly subscribe. So how to prepare the cash flow? As I told you, the cash flow is a time phased cost. And because it's a time phased cost, first of all, you need the program of works because the program of works will show you what are the items or what are the activities that you will be doing in the first month, second month, third month, fourth, fifth, sixth, until the end of the project, maybe month number 14 or month number 18 depending on the project duration so when you have the program of works you will know the activities that you will be doing in every month of the project duration so from the BOQ you have the value of these activities so all you need to do is just to load the BOQ on the program of works you have all the activities you have the sequence the relationships everything you need then you load the value of each of these activities on the activity then you go month wise and you take the submission so when you take the submission of the work of the works that will be done in each month of the project you will get your cash flow in the first month we need for example 2 million in the second month we need for example 2.2 million third month we need 3 million fourth month we need 5 million and so on so this is coming from where this is coming from what are the works that you will be doing in each month of the project and what is the value of these works as per the BOQ so you are just loading the BOQ on the program of works to get the cash flow and this is how we prepare the cash flow program of works BOQ load the BOQ on the program you get your cash flow but the thing is that these numbers or these amounts that you will be getting every month it is the monthly value so you are getting the worth of works that will be done in each month of the project actually this will not give you the cash flow as we know it so what you need to do you need to do a cumulative of that so what is the meaning of this in the first month I'll have the value of the works that I'll execute in the first month but in the second month I'll have the value of the works that I execute in the second month I need to add the value also of the first month to the second month to understand by the end of the second month what is the cumulative amount which is the worth of works of month one plus the worth of works of month two then in month three again same I have the value of the works that will be done in month one month two and month three so I need the cumulative of that the cumulative by the end of month three will be equal to the submission of the value of month one plus month two plus month three then month four will be again the submission of one plus two plus three plus four so each month the value will be equal to the previous value plus the value of this month because for example by the end of month three I have one plus two plus three so by the end of month four I can take the end of month three which is one plus two plus three just plus month number four worth of works so this is how you get the cumulative so by the end or by the last month of the project you will have the total BOQ value or the total contract value because everything has been done so for the cash flow you will have the monthly values and you will also have the monthly cumulative values very important one the third point here is who prepares the cash flow actually as a contractor when you start a project you will submit a program of work and once the program of work is approved based on that approved program of work Work, the sequence and the relationships and the duration of activities and everything you will load the BOQ on the program to get your cash flow so the contractor is preparing the cash flow which will be given to the client so that based on this cash flow the client will prepare himself because the client will understand what are the amounts needed every month to prepare it 
it so that if the contractor succeeds to meet the program that he has proposed and the client approved then in that case the client will need to be paying this amount monthly as per the cash flow and also the client might keep some margin in case the contractor executed a little bit more than the planned work or something like that so this is regarding how the client will be paying the money to the contractor but what about the contractor himself the contractor has his own internal cash flow because maybe in the beginning of the project as per the terms of payment or something he will get some advance payment but based on this advance payment he has to carry on and execute the work and he will get paid every month as per the terms of payment of the project but don't forget that in order for the contractor to get money from the client he has to invest he has to spend some money so the contractor has to prepare his internal cash flow to see how he is going to execute the project and how he will utilize the advance payment that he will receive in the beginning of the project doing and completing the project successfully so point number four now is what is the s curve we always hear the cash flow and s curve and all of that what is the s curve and how it looks like and how do we make it so let me show you now on the screen this is an example cash flow here and as you can see the duration of the project is 18 months and the second row here which is the amount this is the total worth of works that will be executed month wise or in every month so as you can see in month one we will execute 900,000 month two 1.5 million month three 1.5 million and it goes up as the project progresses and work progresses so by the middle part of the project this will be the peak this is where you will be paying a lot as a client to the contractor or this is where the contractor will be executing too much activities at the same time as per the program of work and that's why the values goes up 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 and then they again reduce as you can see starting from month 14 again 2.4 2.7 1.5 1.2 1.2 so again it decreases but in the middle you have reached a stage where you were paying 6.6 .6 and 7.2 per month as a client to the contractor or as a contractor executing the work so when you go to the cumulative part here as we said the first cell will be equal to the total worth of works that will be executed in the first month but the cumulative in the second month will be equal to the total worth of works of month number one plus month number two so that's 900 plus the 1.5 million will give the 2.4 million and by the end of month three you will execute another 1.5 million so the total cumulative will be 3.9 million and in month number four you will execute 1.8 million so the total cumulative will be 5.7 million and so on until you execute the full 60 million of the project so when you draw the relationship between first of all let's take row number one which is the month and row number three which is the cumulative so as you can see the yellow lines they are going up month one month two three four five and so on as you are seeing here until month number 18 so if you notice from month number six until month number 13 there was a drastic increase in the spending because in this period as per the program of work so many activities are happening like the slabs the, the last slabs of the building are being casted and below that a little bit the block work and the plaster is ongoing and below that maybe in the first or second floor they even might have started the finishes and the joinery and everything that's why we see the S curve looks like that so what you can see here from these orange bars this is the S curve it looks like s but if you draw the relationship between the month and the amount you will see the gray lines which you can see here because we have 900 1.5 1.5 1.8 2.1 3 4.8 and so on so it's just going to increase a little bit until you reach month number 9 and 10 where you have spent the most then again it decreases so it looks like a bill shape and actually this is similar to the manpower histogram because also if you load the resources on the program you get the manpower histogram but this is a topic for another video but this is something similar to that so the relationship between the month and the amount will be a bill shape but the relationship between the month and the cumulative will give us the S curve. And in this video, I explained the cash flow in a very big detail. It's like a 45 minutes video. You can watch it and learn from it if you need more information than the ones that I have given in this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.